What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Poland Lithuania. And in the last episode, uh, things are going really, I mean ultimately, things are going so well, we're going to push towards Berlin. Because right now, Pol Prussia doesn't appear able to stop us. So I may even actually get ready to commit you into the action. Because I think if the if this we have to fight, and if we have to take out um, it's better if we take out Prussia than if... Well, actually, you can stay where you are. It's better if we take out Prussia than Austria take out Prussia, that's for sure. Um, but then this area, I'm hoping Dresden will rebel. Because if it does, I'm happy if it becomes the Kingdom of Saxony again. I want to make, control Berlin and defend it. Potentially gain some... get some diplomatic bonuses, or some... not diplomatic bonuses. Make some diplomatic efforts to the the uh, nation, the great nation of Hanover, so that we don't push them to push them aside. I mean, I really don't like how much Austria is growing their military strength. I was going to say, don't you, don't you attack Berlin? Okay, I think those troops went south. I think it's entirely possible. We attack Berlin, capture it, maybe make peace, and then kind of force the rebellion to just, you know, Prussia just self-combusts into Saxony. Although I'm curious, if Saxony does come back, will it be a our protectorate again, or will it be a new thing, a new faction entirely? I mean, we do have to deal with... it's. That's a golden opportunity they've taken Ukraine, but we've just... We have to pick our battles. We have to deal with Prussia first. Be ready to deal with Austria. So you've got... Okay, so we may actually lay siege to the city rather than capture it. It's entirely possible. It's entirely possible that we get... Uh, the enemy marches to try and save their, their friends. We can't get to the general. Let's try to sabotage the barracks. If we if we are attacked with a strong force, we may withdraw. Let's get a few upgrades to our infrastructure because we've been well, I've been neglecting that. I was about to say we've been neglecting that. Okay. So Krakow has researched military syllabus. Cancel the road building. Because you want to build by a drill school to get the next level of research. That will take three turns. So Krakow, you've got three turns to find something to research. I think the answer is one turn canister shot. Two turn square formation, straight on to fire by rank. I think that's the motion there. And then Gardenas, get on with Physiocracy. That's fine, because Physiocracy also boosts town wealth. Obviously, we don't we own any plantations, but we boast we, the bonuses to trade income, the bonuses to town wealth, and the increase in wealth generated by farms is useful, especially when we've just spend a bunch of money upgrading our farms. Okay, you're continuing to grow. Probably want a gun. Let's get a skirmisher unit. You're just generally holding the center. I mean, this army may push north and attack us. We could take the city, perhaps, but I'd like to get a bit of replenishment done. And we're also getting some extra re infantry recruited and driven west. That would also be good. New Royal Air, Zofia. Excellent. Although our current monarch is... Well, August 2nd is okay. Okay, lots of farms have upgraded. How does your town growth look now? 87 turns. Your villages just still aren't growing. 
Okay, six and a half thousand. Do we knock down taxes on the lower class to ease the tax burden to provoke Mammal to grow? We were going to get 6,200, so it's cost us 400 gold to do that. I think that's okay. Do we have any new trade opportunities? Still Crimea, but we're not interested in trading with them just yet. We're friendly with the Ottomans, so I kind of don't want to annoy them. Well, let's hit in turn. Let's see if Prussia tries to save the capital. Don't attack the city. Oh. If they took if they attack Berlin. So they're not in range to attack. Okay, we're gonna attack Berlin because we're gonna use this. We're going to use the Austrians to help us. We're not going to intercept that infantry. You can do what you like. Next turn, we're going to attack Berlin. Austria is going to help us. The city will be ours. And it's going to take a lot of money to bring the faction back on side. You want me to sell you empiricism for a thousand? Sure. I'm more than happy to sell technology. At least, at least um, philosophical technologies. I mean, don't you try it, Crimea. <laughs> don't come after me. Don't act as though... Don't act as though I'm suddenly the bad guy. You're the ones that's invading Russia. Okay. Tech advance. So canister shot's been researched, as has spinning jenny. So. Krakow, ignore grenades. Go for square formation, because then this will be finished exactly when the drill school's done. And then the other... Come in to check. You have upgraded you, right? Okay, next turn you'll be a college. I know that's not community check. <laughs> I just keep I'm just a dumbass. Okay, let's maybe get Get animal husbandry to reduce the chance of food shortages and to make our pop growth in some of our key towns a bit more robust. We're gonna keep all of our money. Because we're going to need it for restabilizing Berlin. There we go. Now the Austrians are helping us fight. Let's go for Berlin. So our force has got a little bit of replenishment left to do. If we waited an extra turn, Austria would attack the city. And then they would get Berlin. Which is the worst result. Ultimately, to the point where if Austria attacked it, I might not necessarily have helped them. I might have declined the attack. Yeah, we can take Berlin. Bring it into the fold. Ideally, I'd like to um, fortify it and treat Berlin as a bit of a, a defensive position in the West. Okay, so let's get... Gunners. I mean, that's not a very good position at all. Back here is probably better. Point a large block out wide. Pikes and militia are going to hold the centre, despite what George Washington says. then all of my cavalry is going to be wide. This is what I wanted. Let's make my infantry run because they need to spread out. My artillery is engaging their artillery and that's just fine. We actually got a kill. Make the mortars run. Yeah, they're getting smacked by mortar fire. Cavalry. Make a mad dash for the left flank. Here come the Austrians. So they've got marines, they've got elite fusiliers. They, Austria is... Strength is growing. And we need to be just really aware of that.
Okay, my artillery fire focus on the right flank because we actually got quite a vulnerable position right here. Control of the left flank, or our dominance of the left flank, is assured. Push, 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 cavalry push. And by the looks of it, they might be inclined to charge. Okay, the firelock armed citizenry have withdrawn. Looks like they are going to push the left flank. I need to push my cavalry into the center and mix things up. Both of you gang up on the pipeline. Okay, the left flank is collapsing. Swarm up on the left. So both my pike units should do a lot of damage to this Swiss pike unit. My artillery is just going to slam home in the centre. If I can just break that unit, I might bring my general back here rapidly. Get the lances out of there because they're a charging unit. Let's maybe bring my cavalry, this cavalry. Yeah, my lancer's a bit of dust on that one. Okay, they broke. So you men push up to back up the militia. So the provincial line is surrounded. You men push up right up into their face. This unit push forward. Bring my militia into the fight. My pikes are still having out the Swiss line. Okay, position intelligently get switch my artillery to engage these troops to the rear the right flank is still dodgy you're engaging the enemy infantry that's trying to reinforce my lancers get them out of there my infantry are in the mix now as is the enemy infantry. Okay, this <laughs> infantry on the flank have folded because of the Austrian cavalry. Push forward. There goes the armed citizenry. You men kill the mortars. There we go. Two one on one. The Swiss infantry had more of a chance against my pikemen, but isolated they do not. Isolated against two pike units, they don't. Move up. Okay, there goes the enemy general. There goes the enemy garrison troop. Okay, right. Now they're all going down. Now they're collapsing. 
shattered. Excellent. Front here is secure. Everybody who isn't a cavalryman. Get up here. We've got engagements we can make against the enemy. Line infantry, although they are also gone. I must admit, the Austrian cavalry's been decisive. Their infantry, not so much. Both of my guns engage this firework arm citizenry. <laughs> yeah. They're being fired upon, but oh yeah, by the Western European mercenaries. Hello, let's end the battle there. So this, that's huge. Enormous. That's a fantastic victory. And obviously they hate us. But we can get rid of the college because we have we've got plenty of universities let's repair this and this and let's replenish the army as a priority yeah that's everything we can do so we've got rid of the we'll get rid of the university replenish the army repair the government buildings that will be that's, that's significant that's really significant you're going to try and assassinate their commander no always worth well, not always worth a shot, but it was worth a shot in that case. So, diplomacy, minor nations, Hanover. They're indifferent to us. Let us trade. Good. Excellent. Oh, there's the Saxon rebels. That's what I want. I don't want... I'm not bothered about attacking, taking Dresden. I want the rebels to do stuff. Okay, but I think there's nothing else we can do. We're about to get physiocracy next turn, so that will be quite useful for our economy. Here comes some more reinforcements. We need to evict that Prussian ship out of our port, and then that will allow us to generate sea trade routes with other parts of the world. I'm really hoping you guys are going to try and Okay, you took... Okay, so there goes Prussia. Prussia's gone. <laughs> Forget Prussia. Prussia's dead. Excellent. Okay. That's really good. Ideally, we'd have, take, we'd have taken out um, Prussia. But I think that means we can focus on the Ottomans and Prussia... No, Austria, sorry. May actually support us in that endeavour. They may say, you know what, we want to fight against Prussia, against against the Ottomans as well. Obviously not fighting against Prussia, because Prussia's dead, turn two. This is why allying with them is so useful. I really hope the Saxon rebels continue to do great work. So let's get our agent into Krakow, because they, they've all got one now. All of my institutions have one agent in them, so let's start setting them up. <gasps> Another. Superb. So how goes Berlin? They still don't like us a huge amount. We've demolished the school. We're going to rebuild it with a church school. We're going to. We're not going to send anybody out of the town yet. We're going to exempt them from tax just to get them on our side. The agent who is converting people over here has now gone. So we can continue our conversion in peace. So we've researched physiocracy. They've gone straight on with utilitarianism. Um, I might be tempted to go for division of labour to get better ports. Although, to be fair... We're not worried about cultural buildings. Maybe government by consent is a good halfway house. The tech research rate is so much more important. There goes Prussia. Revenge. So we've received a letter of demands. 
But I don't think it matters. So actually, you guys can go up here and defend Berlin. You guys can go... The garrison... Yeah, I was going to say, the militia can go into Rostock to hold it. Now this is where things are going to boom. So let's pick some strategic relationships. Venice, you're... So we want to get good relationships with another good Catholic region. Savoy doesn't like us. Persia is usually quite a good one. But let's go for major nations. Let's see if we can tie up with... Well, we can't trade with Britain, but we can trade with her colonies. Hopefully. No, nope, they don't want to trade. That's fine. We will trade with Persia if they will have us. Excellent. Awesome. Okay, so that's done. You're replenishing. Okay, so... You're probably going to head south. So I think one force can attack Moldov uh, Moldavia, and then the other force can attack Kiev. Let's mix things. Actually, they're, they're going to take three turns to get here. So let's maybe go for something like this. Well, are you... Yeah. Okay, let's do something like that. Then at Warsaw itself, let's recruit one line infantry unit just to act as a garrison. 7,900 gold next turn. That's pretty good. Going to get these last buildings in Berlin uh, repaired. We're no longer on strike. We're earning some trade income. That's really good. Next turn, we're going to get square formation researched. Then we'll get drills. The drill school will be built. Then we can get on with... Uh oh Oh, good. Then we're going to get on with researching fire by rank. I think Austria has a new enemy. That's why all their troops are now marching in a different direction. But yeah, if we can get fire by rank, that'd be super. Russia's doing some raiding against the Swedish territories in Estonia. Carbines for common land include... I mean, tech for tech. Yeah. No. Then fair enough. Then I'm not going to give you any technologies, good sir. It's not my fault that you researched... Um, <laughs> you researched carbines. But I think getting those... Getting all those universities set up you know, there's a cost on the economy in the short term, building schools rather than uh, industry. But I think the long term, we're just going to make us extremely powerful in the short term. And that's going to allow us to catapult up and dominate the local area. I mean, Austria is still a threat. Barbary states are kamikaze into the Venetian <laughs> ports. Trying to drop block our trade. Yes, Dresden. Dresden successfully took over, took back their city, and they are now back as our protectorate. Saxony, yes, let us trade. Yes, Saxony, yes, 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 yes. That's a good. Um, so Austria is pretty well penned in now. There's not a huge amount they can do. Mysore's been destroyed. Saxony has arisen. Although this could be the next source of conflict, actually. You may have to come back. Although... Mm, maybe... I mean, if they go for us, we can push straight out of Berlin. Start taxing them now. We can start taxing them now and they shouldn't get to it. They shouldn't rebel because they've had a turn with of peace. Right, okay, so our tax. So you've got square formation, but we've built the drill school. Crack off straight on with fire by rank. Although have you got two Okay, that 
that's the shortest way to get to Gregor. Not to turn off, six turns to get fired by rank, that's awesome. This college research basic steam pump just to get flat increase into the wealth from generated from mines and it reduces the cost of our metalworking buildings that's pretty good pretty cool let's go to government chambers in warsaw let's build at Königsberg. let's build a ordnance factory i think needs to be built go there at warsaw We can upgrade, build a governor's chambers here, or build a government council in Minsk. Vilnius. Okay, engineers, marines. That's exactly the sort of thing we're talking about. Let's build a unit of marines, and then a build a unit of engineers. So, Austria, do you have an enemy? Bavaria. Bavaria. And you're at war with the Ottomans as well. Okay. This might work then. Okay, I think we can continue to grow our army reasonably securely then. You're already at war with the Ottomans. We can attack Ayasi in Ukraine and Crimea, potentially push on to Istanbul and Sofia. That could work. 77 French left. War declared between France and the 13 colonies. Good. Okay, let's send our rake over to Crimea in that case then. We need some visibility about what's going on. The British have deployed troops in nor in <laughs> deployed troops into Spain on the northern coast. Austria's has Austria taken yeah, Austria's taken Bavaria. Oof. They're beefing themselves up quite well, aren't they? That's quite a strong core of territories they've taken right there. Let's hope that Bavaria rebels a few times and causes them to rethink their ways. For us, I think the main thing is just to keep doing what we're doing. It seems to be doing well. If we take Taking Ukraine will be great. Taking Crimea will be excellent. That'll be moving a really, really strong position. And then our research background, well, not our research background, our research foundations are just really strong. We're going to rocket through the research. Eventually, when we declare war on the Austrians, they're going to raid our university, and that could cause some issues. Go and call and go and go and get create some colonies. Oh, you're attacking Spanish, uh, Swedish ports. That's fine. Austria and Venice are keeping their ports open. Gentlemen in Belarus, I think you now have to go here, and everybody's got two. So you will have, yeah. Great. You're now beginning the conversion to Catholicism. That's super. At the trade port, let's build a fifth rate. To, in case anyone sends any one ship frustration attacks against us. Then Saxony. Offer to give them our entire tech laboratory. We want Saxony to be a superpower. Well, relatively. We want Saxony to... There we go. They're going to start growing soon because of our enlightenment technologies. They may well trade them to other um, factions, and that is okay. Okay, so I want... 
You're the larger one. You go up towards Kiev. You men push up towards the border of Iasi. Let's upgrade the fort. Upgrade the government chambers, because then that's the final tier of that building done. So in Vilnius, let's upgrade the government chambers again for the same reasons. Let's upgrade the farm in Berlin, because there's another town somewhere. Poslin, is that it? No, Stettin. Stettin's going to grow first. We've got two more towns. Nice. Okay. I think if we move on the Ottomans, that's our best option. Especially if it means that it keeps Austria out of our hair. Yeah, their armies are getting sufficiently large that we we definitely want flyby rank and some of the other advanced military technologies to maintain our qualitative advantage. Well, yeah, yeah, we do have a qualitative advantage. Nobody else, nobody else in Empire Total War, this the entire world right now, has as much capacity for research and development as the Polish Empire right now. Yeah, I think it's fair to say we're in a really good position. I think they have to keep Kiev garrisoned because they are probably very upset at being governed by a power with a different religion. More Barbary Lemmings. Basic steampunk research. Great. But now let's get you on to measuring tools. So you want to start looking at building roads. Although, again, we want more towns. Roads are good, but towns are better. Lots of marines. I mean, I want a bit of a a bit of a defensive army somewhere near here so the core of our empire doesn't get gutted okay so you they've got nothing in here they've got a lot of cossack line infantry but we've got a lot of line infantry too although i think we can get hussars Let's recruit two units of cavalry for this army. And then you recruit a unit of hussars and a unit of grenadiers. Declare war. Call my allies in. Bit of a risk. Britain has refused to join us. But everybody else is more than happy. So Ayasi, you're gonna you are going to be attacked. Oh, you're not, you can't get into can't get into Kiev just yet. So did Britain actually forsake our alliance? Because sometimes they do keep it. Yeah, we are still allies, I suppose, because it, it's a war of aggression. Okay, you need to go. Well, maybe we've got visibility southwards. Go into Crimea, see what they've got. So 5,000 government chambers. Let's get another drill school. I oh, know, sorry, you don't you don't have good roads. You need you need road upgrades as well, both of you. It's okay. Actually, instead of uh, instead of doing that, I suppose we have to let's secure Ayasi from the tyranny of the Ottoman Empire. We're going to march in, capture the city, and then that will, well, it, let's see if it draws any Austrian troops south. I don't think, I th what, this is the most logical next war goal, I think, for us. Guns, engage as you like. Our artillery, and infantry. Push to try and surround them. Pikes acting as pseudo cavalry. 
general and my lancers get ready to advance. Garrison Islamic swords, but I want to be careful of them. Okay, they are, they have been they are being engaged by my artillery. That's nice. So, Muslim firelock on populus. Let's maybe make my line run into position just to make sure they don't get caught out. Muslim, Firelock, Armed Populous, Armed Populous, Garrison, Islamic Swordsman. They, they are the danger. Although realistically I actually want to be up here. I'll just keep mashing it on and off. Everybody's forming up. Cavalry's moving forward infantry on the flank is going to advance into a suitable firing position general's bodyguard delhi horsemen they're waiting for the Azar to get into position. Okay, there we go. Now they're coming in. Bashi Bazooks. Lancers need to go for the Delhi Horsemen. General Bodyguard needs to get ready to fight the Fashi Bazooks. You're going to eat a volley from the Delhi Horsemen. You're 74 years old. You're born for this sort of mission. Death or glory. Muslim are broken. Bring this infantry unit across. Okay, there goes the swordsmen. We want to make sure they, they can definitely come back, so just keep engaging. Okay, we've done what we can. Let's bring my lancers back out here. Push infantry up against the Delhi horsemen. Push the flank of an infantry unit there. I mean, if they're going to let us bog them down in a in battle where our infantry can be brought to bear, I'm okay with that. Garrison's Dummy Swordsmen are going to try and flank us. Arm populace can't stick this, surely. And the terrain is, in, is helping them out. Same with you guys, the terrain's helping you out massively. God knows how you're killing anyone. Push forward. Got some targets over the horizon. Artillery switch targets to young populace. Oh, they've broken. The garrison's having swordsmen shattered, that's very nice. Excellent. Okay, you men. 
into position. The lancers just hold back. Okay, the line, the center of their position has been destroyed. Push forward to take the ground. Base infantry unit fill in the gaps. All down to the general's bodyguard, all the way in the back. These units may come back, so we have to be continuously aware of that. Okay, they're Muslim are charged. We don't charge my general bodyguard. infantry just massacre the Muslim infantry advance up yeah, they are broken Does not want to deal with this. Can you men advance like so? General's bodyguard, beware, beware of the stakes. They're in, the general's bodyguard is moving in. Moving into range to be picked off. They're going to be engaged by a lot of Polish muskets. Although well, they're all focusing on the Bilocon populace. Still under fire. We've still got some hit points. We haven't really been engaged yet at this stage. There we go, now they're being engaged. Where's their command? I think it might be. Either way, they're gone. The city is taken. Nice. Moldavia secured. Repair the government building. Replenish the troops. Can't build anything. Let's upgrade the farm. Forty-two turns till the next town is built. The clear run all the way to Sofia. No one's here to stop us. Great, then once we take Kiev, our frontier is even more secure. So I probably want to move my move marines down to the front line, because let's get them at least doing something. Four more turns till we get fire by rank. Excellent. Ministers are all good. Next election's in four turns. Let's hit end turn. Okay, Austria sending troops southward as well. Let's hope the Ottomans have better luck holding them off. See, but they're going to start. Yeah, that might cause a. That might be a trickier nut to crack. Yeah, so the Ottoman fleet is deploying to try and choke off our trade. Russia's laying siege to St. Petersburg. Let's see if Sweden lifts the siege. Nope. Although they're raiding Courland, I'm surprised that that's not... I'm surprised that I've not been triggered into being involved in the conflict somehow. That is a bit strange. Hey, you've sallied out to attack us. Nice. Let's do this then. Baruch 
Alkawani. We um, so I think if we if we beat them, they don't go into the city. I think they get pushed way back. So we still kind of want to kill them because otherwise they will just kind of run around raiding things. But I think, well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> same problem as we faced before. Do we kill them or do we just push them back? Just kill them. Pandora. Pandora, Pandora. Lead away. Cavalry act as. Pikes are going to act as pseudo cavalry. This army's waiting on some elite cavalry support. Okay, they're all mostly bundled together. see if we can get forward probably get our cavalry out on the right skirmishers get up here on the left pokemon are going to back you up let's get the general out on the flank as well You want to be shade further forward, but I think this will do because we might get charged. Okay, they are. <laughs> yeah, musketries have broken them. Bought us some breathing space. Cossack infantry are uh, shaken, so I think a cavalry charge might be quite devastating in the rear. There we go. Slaughter them. Those units in the centre are probably going to come back. Shatter this unit and see how much damage we can do. Skirmishers don't really have an angle. Let's get right up in their faces. Okay, let's try and run the cavalry forward actually and shatter these units that have retreated. If they come back, we need to get our provincial cavalry out of there pretty rapidly. Friendly fire. Relative. Oh, they've probably taken concentrated fire in the front. To their front. There we go. Don't worry about reforming the line. Although we might actually, because they are. General pursue the 9th regiment. There we go. This unit routed when they came back. Routing. Second order, all that remains. You men smack into the third order. It's a mighty big block of troops. We've lost 40 men. How it 
Lance's ceasefire, or foot artillery ceasefire. Don't worry about chasing them down. That's what the cavalry is there for. Although not as much as we would like. The minute this shoots under fire from all directions, holding their ground. You guys, are, you guys have um, a bit of fire at will, then. They've collapsed as well. Kill the enemy general. Speed up time. They're just going to get shot through ribbons on the way out. Yeah, you did some good stuff, Crimea. It was a worthwhile gambit. However, I don't think it's going to pay off in the way that you'd hope probably better off sending both of our units to kill this infantry unit because I doubt you didn't make in time. That's the cavalry against this unit. Should kill them. I don't know. They've spread out. These guys are quite close. Oh, they keep Electing to run back onto the field. Oh, they stopped to fight us. Yep, and they're done for. Yeah, that's the guts of the garrison force at Kiev destroyed. Well, that's all of the garrison force at Kiev destroyed. They've got still over a thousand remaining, but we've got enough to push the city. Especially with support. Not quite sure what you're walking over towards me for, Corland. We might be protectorate buddies, but we don't. <laughs> We've got stuff to do. Trade rate's been raided. Natural causes. The commander of this force has finally given us life. We need a lancer to replace him. Yersin Opalin Opalinska. Demand the surrender of the city. Yeah, we took it. Nice. Okay, let's sally out just to attack the remnants of that army. Get back into the city. Get replenished. Get these buildings repaired. Push south word for you. Build the government building. Let's get better roads in Vilnius. Lancers are reinforcing the Kiev army. We're not going to do any building around here because you've got a unit of Cossacks running wild. You're gonna, if we get good early warning to the south, this army may go east and deal with Crimea. Maybe. Eight hundred and forty-five. Again, a lot of this stuff is just not wanting. Okay, let's maybe push you guys over to here. Push you guys down to you down here. Engineers down to here. You need better artillery now, but I don't think twelve pounders. Okay, we want like effectively a flat upgrade program. Get rid of demi cannons for 12 pounders, they're just better across the board. We have a guard ship for Rostock. Awesome. Can't do any building. Let's upgrade the Jesuit College just to keep, keep Catholicism growing and try and get some religious happiness on the go. It's quite a big get big capture for us though. Our income has gone down though because we are recruiting a lot of troops, but I think we can turn this around pretty quickly. Soldier mentioned in dispatches. You Stanislaw, you're my favourite at the moment. Let's hit end turn. I mean at some point Austria, you've got to 
keep going, oh no, this isn't good, this isn't good at all. Bavarian rebels. The Dutch are sweeping the seas clear of pirate scum. Oh, and they're attacking the, uh, Westphalia? Interesting. The Ottoman raiders. But now, now that we've, we're securing Russia's south, it looks like they are more inclined to go north against the Swedes. You know what? We don't need that army in Moldavia to go east. The force in Crimea, or Ukraine rather, when they... If we recruit a couple of units, they will... You know, they'll be able to hold the city against that one unit of... Um, that one unit of Cossack infantry pretty easily. Württemberg versus Bavarian rebels. You're going to come fight against the uh, Ottomans as well. Saxony's got an agent. They're going to do their own research. Excellent. Government by consent. Okay, so then you hopped on to utilitarianism. No, get on to division of labour. Let's expand our port and get more trade. Uh, trade options. Upgrade the farmland and the Minsk government building. Right, now we need roads. Okay, good. Let's upgrade Steampunk Mine down here. My FC needs better roads as well. Everybody needs better roads. Except for here. They don't need better roads. To be honest, I think if we take you guys, you guys out, head towards Crimea. Just head head there right now. You men join up with Stanislaw. Kalmuks. Let's recruit a militia to garrison. So to help garrison the city. Actually, in which case, we can probably take this infantry unit with us. Let's not upgrade the roads here. I mean, we can't afford to anyway, but let's still not upgrade them. Trade gained tactician for Dragomir. Will you please be my army minister? Yes, he is. Good. Okay, apart from that, everything else is looking pretty nice. I mean... They're not going to stop us. We'll recruit a pikeman, just because I like pikemen and they'll help garrison the city. Do you just march on? Oh, yeah. Get there. Yeah. Austria's coming. You need to get to Istanbul. Or do you take Sofia to block them in, then head east to Istanbul. Because we want Istanbul and Athens. If it's a race for the Balkans, we want to make sure we can outpace the Austrians. 7,500 gold next turn. Two turns till fly by rank. Let's hit end turn. But yeah, if we're going to race to carve out the Ottoman Empire... Oh, <laughs> they're starting to panic. <laughs> and they're going, oh no. So Russia's attacking St. Petersburg again. Uh, Sweden's chasing down our friendly ships. But they're clearing out the enemy, clearing out the Mediterranean of, of pirates. And what's not to like about that? The rest of the world seems to be coping okay without us. Crimea wants peace. No. We're going to take your territories. All your lands will belong to us. Yeah, you, you're going to get stuck in. Fair enough. Oh, they actually got to the Venetian port. 
I suppose the navies have all left. Workers on strike, they are now no longer on strike. Push, push, push. So how does the city look? Ripe for the taking, push to Istanbul. And we could try and take Belgrade, but it looks like they're probably... Aust Austria's in there, they're raiding the mines at Tropica. Yeah, we want to take Sofia, then take Istanbul, then take Athens. Government chambers at Warsaw, run a parliament chamber. Um, hmm, what do we want? Well, I want Crimea. Get us over the bridge. Gonna kick our way through their blocking forces. And you're actually going to just sit there. There's no rush to take the city right now. Cavalry join them. You men join them. Okay, let's get some upgrades in Kiev. They will be... This force... <laughs> this area will be useful in a future war against uh, Russia. Because it's really quite a good recruitment location. Happiness. Plus one... Plus two to treasury for Michael... Pidipichek. Yep. You see our ministers are doing great. 74%. So the next election we're probably going to still have these fantastic ministers. Great. Great, great, great. So 12 pounders cost 800. Okay. Yeah, we could really do with some towns popping and getting some... Oh, Madrid's fallen to the British. But France is invading. Oh my god. France has taken... What, what is... What, what reality is this? Spain owns Madrid. France owns London. What is this? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus, God. I mean... Things, I mean, if things get really well, I could, I could see turning this into a, world, a proper world domination. Because this is... The AI is acting really wacky right off the bat. I like it. <laughs> so Britain's New Spain although you know, there's going to be lots of rebelling and Britain's probably going to take London back with troops recruited from Scotland I mean maybe maybe they won't, I don't know Genoa's just got smacked Westphalia's pushed the Dutch back which is nice Corland's on the way to help us out which is awfully nice of them. Yeah, I could do with... Well, I need more towns to be recruited. To be... Um, to grow, rather. Fire by rank. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. Okay, so you've gone back to Carbines. So you get us Grenadier Guards and Dragoons and so on. That's lovely. Um, but I think I still might... Socket, Bayonet... Might be useful... I think the benefit of socket bayonets is something to do with it's kind of a counter charge bonus. So if you get charged, if you get charged, you get melee bonuses, I think. Can't really remember off the top of my head. We get cadence marching. The movement around the empire will be useful, especially when I don't have a lot of troops just yet. Excellent. Keep growing the government council. Great, 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 great. Upgrade the government chambers. I mean, this is very much over-egging the pudding by waiting for these guys before attacking the city. But you know what? Why do things in half measures? 1600 is probably enough to repair this. Um, but yeah, looking at the timer... I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for more uh, slaughter of Poland's enemies. Cheers, everyone.